Snakes have always fascinated human beings for all sorts of reasons, including their lack of limbs, their cold-bloodedness, and the fact that some of them wield venom powerful enough to kill a grown man. A few snakes grow to an intimidating size, and the bigger and longer the snake is, the more they enthrall people. These big, dangerous snakes are the most likely to be collected for zoos. In the meantime, there are hundreds of species of snakes whose members live their lives humbly, barely noticed. Some, not much longer than earthworms. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the top 10 smallest snakes in the world. Number 10. Short-Headed Gartner Snake This snake is one of the thousands of Gartner snakes, which are members of the Thamnophis genus. Gartner snakes are found only in North to Central America, and the short-headed is one of the smaller Gartner snakes at around 10 inches in length. This particular snake is only found in New York and Pennsylvania. It's almost always found near a field and sometimes kept as pets. They eat only earthworms in the wild, but as pets, they'll take small amphibians, fish, and even leeches. Though, short-headed Gartner snakes are hesitant to bite if they're picked up, but they'll excrete feces or bad-smelling musk if they're annoyed. The reproductive strategy of the snake depends on where it lives. Females produce every other year in New York, but those in Pennsylvania breed every year. Like other Gartner snakes, the short-headed gives birth to live young. Number 9. The Malagasy Blind Snake Rediscovered in 2007, after about 100 years, this snake is only found in Madagascar and grows to around 9.8 inches long. Its nose is so armored and enlarged that it makes the snake's head look somewhat like a bulldozer. The Malagasy Blind Snake has scales that are not only pink but translucent. Much like an earthworm, it does not have a lung, but has a membrane where the lung would be. Like other blind snakes, this one burrows in a sandy soil found in the coastline's forest, using its head to dig. It's considered critically endangered. Number 8. Ringneck Snake Found from Canada down to Mexico, this nocturnal snake gets its name for the band of yellow, red, or orange-yellow around its neck. Otherwise, the rest of the snake can be olive green, blue-gray, or charcoal. Some herptologists believe that there are about 14 subspecies of this snake, all about the same size, about 9.8 inches long. The exception is the regal ringneck snake, which is a bit longer. Unlike other snakes discussed here, the ringneck snake is venomous, but it is just venomous enough to subdue its prey. This includes other reptiles such as lizards or young snakes or other species, amphibians such as frogs or salamanders, and slugs and earthworms. People can handle the ringneck snake because it's peaceful and its fangs are tiny and rear-facing. When it feels threatened, the snake curls up its tail and exposes its anal vent, which is bright red. Number 7. The Lined Snake This snake, which can grow from 8.6 to 15 inches long, is found in the Great Plains and has populations as far as East Illinois. There are four subspecies. They are the Central Lined Snake, the Northern Lined Snake, Merton's Lined Snake, and the Texas Lined Snake. Lined snakes are found in the woods, prairies, around human habitations, and abandoned lots. They hibernate during the winter in rocky crevices. Females are ready to breed when they are about two years old, and though line snakes mate in the fall, fertilization of the female's eggs is delayed till spring. The female gives birth to two to twelve live young in August. Since they are born independent, they receive no parental care. The line snake mostly eats earthworms, and can be found looking for them in the rain. It also eats snails and slugs. Number 6. Peter's Thread Snake this snake is found in South Africa and grows to only 7.9 to 11 inches in length. Like other thread snakes or blind snakes, an observer has to look hard to tell the tail from the head if the snake isn't moving. This is because the snake's eyes are minuscule. This thread snake spends much of its life in a burrow, though it will emerge after a heavy rainstorm. Since it eats termites and termite eggs, it can often be found around old termite nests. It's also easy to find it under rocks and logs. Its scales are dark and shiny. And though it's not venomous, some people confuse it with the burrowing asp. Number 5. The Flat-Headed Snake This 7 to 8 inch long snake is the smallest of many snakes found in Missouri. It's not endemic to Missouri, but it can also be found in Illinois, Oklahoma, Kansas, Arkansas, and Mexico. It has smooth scales which colors range from tan to grayish or reddish brown with a pink belly. Sometimes the snake's head is black. It is active through the warmer months, but spends most of the day in burrows dug out of sandy soil. The snake breeds in the spring, and the female lays one to four eggs in June. The three-inch long babies hatch in late summer. The snake eats insects, insect larvae, and centipedes. Number 4. The Texas Blind Snake The Texas Blind Snake is found from southwest Kansas and south into Mexico. As with other blind snakes, it is easy to mistake this reptile, which grows between 3.9 and 11 inches in length, for an earthworm. 
It is found in deserts and other dry places as long as it can find protection from the hot sun and a source of moisture. It does this by sheltering under logs and rocks and can even be found in compost piles in suburban yards. The conservation status for these snakes are least concern. The Texas blind snake is a burrowing snake and often follows the trails of earthworms, though it doesn't eat earthworms but ants, termites, and insect eggs. It has no teeth in its upper jaw and only has teeth at the front of its lower jaw. After mating, females lay about four long, narrow eggs with papery shells. These snakes aren't completely blind and can discern different intensities of light. Number three, the variegated snail eater. This snake is found in Amazonia and grows to just 3.4 to 3.5 inches in length. Slugs and snails make up a good part of its diet. It has a blunt, large head, large yellow eyes, and a pattern of blacks and grays over the body. It's found in old growth forests or forests that have only been slightly disturbed. It is active at night, where it can climb up to nine feet in search of its prey. By day, variegated snail eater sleeps under the duff or in shrub branches. Besides Amazonia, the population of the variegated snail eater are found in Trinidad and Tobago. Number two, the Bramini blind snake. The length of this snake can be as little as two inches, but since it can grow to six inches, it's probably only the second smallest snake in the world behind the Barbados thread snake. It is native to Asia, Africa, but also has been introduced to other areas of the world by stowing aboard potted plants, which gives it the nickname of flower pot snake. It is difficult to tell the head from the tail as they have the same type of scales, but if a person uses a magnifying glass, they'll be able to discern two tiny, useless eyes at the end and a bit of a spur on the tail. The snake comes in a range of colors, from dark gray, silvery, yellowish, beige, purple, and albino. This snake dines on ants and termites, as well as their eggs, larvae, and pupae. It will also take beetles, the eggs and larvae of other insects, caterpillars, and earthworms. Unlike other snakes, it may even eat feces and fungi. One true weird thing about the Brahimini snake is that all of them are female. The species is parthenogenic, which means females can have babies without male participation. When the one to eight eggs laid by the Brahimini snake hatch, all are females, and all are identical to their mother. Number one the Barbados thread snake. This recently discovered snake is considered the smallest snake in the world, with an adult length of 3.8 inches and no more as far as anyone knows. As its name implies, it was found in Barbados, and might also be found in Barbados and Antigua. It was found living under a rock and eats termites and larvae of ants. An interesting fact about this tiny snake is that the female lays only one egg at a time, and when the baby hatches, it's already half the size of the mother. Herptologists believe this snake evolved to live in forests, so due to the massive deforestation of Barbados, its conservation status is critically endangered. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe. If you have questions or comments, please leave it at the comment section below. See you on the next one.